Hey mom, are you still at grandpa's house? Oh good, can you put him on? Hey grandpa, it's Adam, how are you? Good, listen, are you wearing your Depends right now? Fantastic, because the news I'm about to tell you is gonna make you shit yourself. Chris Pratt is voicing Garfield. Chris Pratt. Owen from Jurassic World. No, not Jurassic Park, Jurassic World. Oh, I forget you're an old man. Uh, he's Emmett from the Lego movie? No? He's Mario, you know Super Mario? The Italian plumber? Yeah, he's voicing him too. He was the, uh, one of the monsters in Onward. He's basically the Tara Strong or Nolan North of the movie voice acting community. Yeah, Star-Lord, Guardians of the Galaxy. No? Andy from Parks and Rec? Generic guy from Tomorrow War? Grandpa? Grandpa! He, he hung up. Oh my god, I forgot I was recording. If you weren't listening, that's the big news. Chris Pratt is voicing Garfield. <laughs> oh, why? So I, what? John Arbuckle, Garfield's owner and a personal friend of mine. You think that these people should hit subscribe if they haven't already? Okay. Well, you heard it from John, a real person. Hit subscribe. Listen, I think you and I both know Garfield has had a stellar run in cinema. Uh, between Bill Murray's uh, beautiful interpretation of the character in the Garfield movie and the sequel, uh, Tale of Two Kitties. Any film that has a pun in the title is instantly an A-plus in my book. Um, but seriously, no, this is an animated film. Sony's producing. They only know of two actors uh, to exist on the planet. Chris Pratt's one, and I assume Odie the Dog's gonna be played by Tom Holland. Hasn't been confirmed, but... This is Sony! Chris Pratt is really killing it right now in this voice acting gig. What a what a nice job for him. What a payday. I don't get it. I don't see him as Garfield. I don't hear him as Garfield, but... I also don't care. I'm not really a, like a big Garfield fan. You know, he eats lasagna. He's a smart ass. He's kind of a, a dick to his, his dog companion. That's kind of it. I am a big fan of Super Mario though, so that casting was perplexing beyond all belief. So I would understand if you like Garfield a lot and you're thinking, why Chris Pratt? Well, because Hollywood only has a few bankable stars right now that they're willing to put their weight behind. And, and he's one of them. The star lord and savior himself. This time it's fully animated, I believe. It's not doing the whole Sonic the Hedgehog, the old Scooby-Doo thing. Well, the old Garfield thing, actually. Where it's a CG character talking to real people and interacting with real things. It is Chris Pratt, though, still doing the voice. And that's really the takeaway of this video. The film is being written by David Reynolds, who did Finding Nemo. And it's being directed by Mark Dindle, who did Emperor's New Groove, which is fantastic, and Chicken Little. chicken shit. I am a little disappointed though that there seems to be three or four people that we're turning to now for movies in general. I think they could probably have broadened the horizon for the role of Garfield, maybe gone with someone that isn't Chris Pratt, but uh, you know, we'll see, I guess. That's where we're at. There was a point a long, long time ago where an animated film would have voice actors you, you hadn't even heard of. They weren't stars. Maybe in, in the voice actor community they were, but certainly not on the big screen, not on the silver screen. Nowadays, it's all about who's the most bankable. Who are the names we can put on this thing to get people into the theaters? I think it's incredibly humorous where you get a movie like uh, the Emoji Movie or some of that other bottom feeding crap. And you can just tell exactly what they're doing from the marketing uh, standpoint. They're like, okay, we got to get as many walks of life into this thing as we can. So let's get, uh, let's get a really respected actor like Patrick Stewart. And then let's get something for the ladies that are at home watching the cooking channel. Uh, let's get uh, Rachel Ray. Who can we get that speaks to the youth that's been all over the globe? A Mr. Worldwide of sorts. I heard it. Pitbull. These crappy animated films will have like an A-lister, a couple B-listers, someone from like Dancing with the Stars, someone from CSI. I, they just pull from all these different places so that they can get as much bang for their buck. And now we're seeing it with Mario and Garfield. Not necessarily the talent that's right for the job, but the talent that will get people into the theaters. And that's Chris Pratt, I, I guess. As a person that finds Garfield delightful, but doesn't really need to rush out to see any of his films, I don't really care about this. I just wanted to put it out there, give my two cents, see what you had to say in the comments. So let me know, what do you think about Chris Pratt as Garfield the Cat? 
And if you like cat puns, maybe you should pause the video for a second and give it a like. And subscribe here for more videos. I do a lot of stuff movie related. There's also a notification bell up there, so give that a good whack too. And uh, hopefully I'll see you next time. Wow, what a perfectly short video that gives you the news, how you want to hear it, and doesn't overstay its welcome. If you like what I'm doing, maybe stop on by Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies and say, here, here's a dollar, Adam. Thank you. Thank you for doing what you're doing. Keep, keep up the good fight. Or you can join right here on YouTube via the YouTube join button, become a member, and uh, you get access to exclusive videos and you get to see a little bit more of me. And I think that's making the world a better place for one or two people. All right, take care.